Okay, I'm doing this for this pursuit blog uh, video in the big thicky there. Um, I'm gonna watch my language for this, so not gonna be my usual potty mouth self. I gotta scale that back a little bit. Anyways, it's about pornography. One of his questions here was, uh, "What is your perspective on porn?" Um, I'm a guy. I think about sex a fair amount, you know, and I think porn is good. Um, it's a good outlet for a great many things, of course. Um, I have no complaints about pornography when it comes to being used within reason. And may that mean whatever it means. Obviously, when I mean within reason, I don't mean, you know, giving it out to little kids or anything like that. I mean, just... <sighs> um, when I was growing up down south, people would just use the word, use your common sense. Use that phrase, use your common sense. And that's what I mean when it comes to porn. Use your common sense. Okay, that's that. Um, is porn okay? Um, well... Yes and no. Um, obviously, you can't use porn um, uh, as a greeting card <laughs> to a significant other. That might be not good. Um, probably don't want to talk about porn in the workplace, um, especially if you have to ask yourself, should you bring up porn? Probably shouldn't talk about it. You should probably, you know, go to places that sort of lend themselves to that sort of conversation. Perhaps a bar, uh, a club, um, maybe outside of a movie after you've, you know, seen something rather lurid, you know. Heck, even comic book stores. Uh, sometimes coffee shops. Just, there's a time and a place and uh, definitely keep that stuff out the workplace. Unless you've got a really liberal kind of kind of workplace, um, is porn good or bad? I think I answered that. Um, I think it's a good outlet, and it's it, it is bad for a great many reasons as well. Sort of opens up the door to a great many ideas, opens up entire perverted vistas, uh, completely destroys and dehumanizes your. Uh, your partner to the point where you don't think they're dehumanized anymore. And that's fascinating to, to see people try to try to hold on to that um to hold on to that because for me personally if I'm having a fantasy of a sexual nature about someone else, it it generally is a rather dehumanizing one. I find if I'm fantasizing about them in a positive way, like maybe we're making love in, in the fantasy, I, I might not want to um, venture too far into that, into that in that kind of territory because I'll start to care about that person a little bit more. I, I might start to feel some, some pangs of humanistic guilt, but I find it's incredibly easy just to completely debase and destroy someone inside your head and I'm just being straightforward blunt and honest I'm not trying to blow you know smoke up someone's rear and say oh I think about you know the the, the woman in the fantasy you know as, as a human being as a person and then we have tea afterwards nope it's not that kind of thing at, at all but I am capable of human emotions and you know, I'm, you know, I'm nice to women and all that stuff in the real life, but inside the mind, you can practically do anything you want to. Okay, so married. Is it okay for a married person to be in the pornography? I think both. You need, you need to limit it a little bit if it's sort of a that, that kind of relationship. I, I just think if you're you know, just freely dating a person, you know, have some menage trois and three ways, whatever floats your boat. But once you tie that knot, you know, without all the, once you're in a civil union or you're married or whatever it happens to be these days, 
once you're connected with with your partner or your group of partner whatever it happens to be there should be limits you, you know you should try to explore each other that's what that's all about marriage and you shouldn't have to work too outside of the box maybe the common phrase is to spice things up but from what I've experienced growing up uh, sort of down in the really religious south is you really don't you really don't need um, extra little pornography I mean if I was married I, I certainly wouldn't want to live up to you know all the well I guess I would try to live up <laughs> Definitely leave that up to the to the to the woman. That that that's that would just be what I would do. I'd leave that up to her. And if she gave me that if she gave me the decision to make, I would give some pseudo philosophical mumbo jumbo theoretical piece of dung. So it's so convoluted, so long. She just stops listening and then says, you know what, we're gonna do this instead. And then I'll be like <gasps> I guess we'll have to do that, honey. <laughs> okay, um, I guess that answer should the significant other approve it. Under, I, I guess if she said I couldn't look at pornography, um, my significant other, I would, that, that would be a tussle. It would be, uh, be like trying to cut off Samson's hair. Um, you know, it would be like the fall of Troy. It, it, oh my good, I don't know if I could part with the archives. The, because hmm. oh basically. Basically, if I lost my entire porn stash, uh, my pornography, that would be one thing because that would be a loss. You know, computer glitch, virus, it's happened before and I've learned from it. <laughs> but if the significant other told me no more porn, then that would be a completely... That relationship would have to definitely be worth it. It would almost make me try harder to make it worth the the void that would be lost with the loss of the archives. I would have to think of her as a human being and I know that sounds strange, but I, I don't mean to say it like that, but other things would have to occupy my thoughts, you know? And I, I'm a poet uh, slash writer, so I my mind goes all over the place. Mostly the things that have to deal with, um, you know, kind of horror or um, hack slash, sometimes sort of like really spacious and interesting ideas. Um, so I don't know how that would change my my writing style or my my poems. Cause I'm very dependent upon a lot of um vivid uh, pictures so it's not all bad evil pornography it kind of feeds my work and I think that's about it that's all I'll say on that and good luck with your proverbs I might follow that along some other some atheists out there uh, one of my friends was never mind